dish when we talk about food. So probably all of us have one or the other very favorite dish which we always relish at any point of time. And so it happens that once we get a chance to order a dish in a restaurant, we'll definitely order that particular dish. Uh, you must have tasted that dish in a number of restaurants around and you must have also noticed one thing that for whatever reasons, somehow the taste differs from one place to another and you prefer to go to that place again and again where it was more relishing. Now, what was the problem? So how do I make that dish? I need some raw materials for that. Maybe I'm looking forward to say a vegetable soup. So I'm looking forward to say a few vegetables are required for that matter. Some spices will be required. Probably I need something to heat it up. So maybe I need a stove, maybe an oven, maybe uh, say for example, microwave. So we have some machines available. We have got the raw material. And if you look at the recipes, you will find that the recipe for a vegetable soup remains the same across the globe. There will be some variations, but they'll call it with some different names for sure. So what we are saying is that for one particular dish, we have got raw materials available across the board. It's open for all. We've got some machines available for it, like stove, microwave, oven. So it is available for all. There is a recipe for it, which is again open for all. Then what is that thing that makes it a different? So what makes it so different for you? Of course, that is the human element, that is the chef. You might even try cooking at home, making some things at home, and you'll find the taste differs a lot, even though you're following the same recipe. So here, we come to this concept of human resource, that human element in the organization. So these days we say that we talk about man, material, and machine. Well, machines are available to all, material is available to all, but it is that human element that makes the difference. Hence, we say that human resource is the competitive advantage for any organization today. So how do I take care of it? So there is a saying that human resources are about right person, the right place at the right time. So it is more of strategic HRM. Does it really happen so that we'll have all the things right at all the times? Probably no. So that might happen for some time, but it cannot be a continuum process. And again, if like we were making a dish, we need to procure some raw materials. At times my budget is low, I cannot purchase some good quality raw materials. So that is what we need to understand. We need to procure something. So we say that human resource management can be understood in bundles. And when you say bundles, it's like classification. So I need to acquire the talent and we call that particular bundle as talent acquisition. Again, a lot depends how much is the difference in that particular talent required on the skill sets that are required by me. Maybe I couldn't have afforded that or maybe because of changing times and technology, I need my employees to be updated for the same. And hence, training and development is an essential component. Again, since these people are actually working for me as an organization, well, I need to pay them. I need to compensate them. So I need to have another bundle that talks about compensation and incentives, rewards. And of course, we need to follow the law of land and hence we've got something like the rules and regulations are in place and we're following the norms and we say that the industrial laws are being followed by us. That is another bundle. And then we also understand that we have to make sure that our employees are motivated. They are working on their own. I don't need to run behind them all the time. And hence, I need to make sure that my employer relations are good. I need to take care of their safety as well. So number of things are around when we talk about human resource management. And yes, uh, as the time has moved up, a lot of perspectives have been there in human resource management. From the first HR perspective of strategic HRM, we move across to bundles of functions in HR. Then we talk about the scorecards for performance-based HR practices. We talk about commitment-based HR practices. We talk about high performance teams and these days we are looking forward to something that is contemporary talking about the online HR practices we talk about innovative HR practices and yes uh, it's not the function of only the HR department because we when we work in the organization we have to make sure that we are taken care of and 
we are also taking care of people around us. So organization requires a human element, otherwise it's nothing more than a machine, right? So human resource management happens to be the function of everyone around, not just the HR department. Happy learning.